And we're back. Hey guys, welcome to the Sunday vlog. Woke up this morning. What a good song that was for The Sopranos. Come on. Even whether you like the show or not, that song, now it's gonna be going through your head, am I right? It's, it's already through my head. It's like, update on the Smartly Dental Floss. Uh -uh. It's not bad, like if you're in a pinch and you all you have is the option to run into Target and grab an inexpensive dental floss, it's fine, it does the job. It's no Dr. Tongues and it's no Cocoa Floss. The Cocoa Floss is like bougie spa gum hygiene. Dr. Tongues is legit, it's the best. But this is, uh, I don't know, it's not so, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's not bad, but it's not stellar. Anyway, I'm coming in with the Hydra Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel Fragrance Free. So, I don't know if you noticed, I have a new bottle of this because I finished the other one. I was going to get the refill, but then I remembered I had this little one. And I'm glad they changed up the packaging because this pump is kind of a, a little too short. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Um, but the new packaging on the new pump on, on the bottles is much better. Cause like kind of goes all over the place. I've been really hard on Neutrogena packaging lately. Like I complained about the tinted sunscreen. It makes a mess. And I'm complaining about this. I told you I finished the Timeless Q10 Serum. I'm finishing up the Black Tea Deep Infusion Toner from uh, Pyeong Kung Yul. It says it's a toner, but like I said, I think in yesterday's vlog, it's pretty, it's pretty thick. I usually think, you know, toner is going to be a liquid. Yeah, I want to finish this up and then I'll probably repurchase the Timeless one. So last night I put some spirulina in my smoothie. I got some under my nails. These little things I love. They come, you can buy them in this jar. They come in a cylinder like this. They're from 3M Avigard. Same brand that makes hand, hand cream that I really like. Although when I was looking it up and looking at the packaging very carefully, it's not marketed as a hand cream, but that's how I use it. Anyway, these little things are so handy for getting stuff under from out out from under your nails because like I <clears throat> I washed my hands first thing this morning and you know washed around my nails and everything but there's still like the little spirulina flakes get stuck under there and this is just handy to get that stuff out so yeah these are really convenient like when you have stuff under your nails that you can see but it's not coming out it's kind of like what they use in the um, OR before they go in a scrub they have those hand scrubby things and they have a little nail pick. I loved it. That was my favorite part of my surgery rotation was cleaning under my nails. I just like thought the whole process was very zen. But I was always that med student who was like a ticking time bomb for when I was gonna contaminate something in the OR. Like I'm, I was every scrub tech's worst nightmare uh, because I'd be like, like, like you go in and they put they put the, um, you know, you gown up and glove and everything, and then you're like, okay, I'm like afraid to move. And then like, this is a sterile field, this is a sterile field. And you're like, ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed my surgery rotation though. In fact, I love surgery so much. I thought about going the surgery route. Um, but yeah, I really admire surgery. I really admire surgeons a lot. I got a new sunscreen, let me show you guys. I did a little test of it and I kind of liked it, so I'm gonna keep going with it. It's by the brand Thank You Farmer, SPF 50 PA 4 Plus Sun Project Skin Relief Sun Cream. I got this and I also repurchased the um, Skin 1004 Hialu Sika, that one that I like. Um, but this has licorice, this is a chemical sunscreen. It does have niacinamide in it, which I know some of you find irritating. It has licorice root. It has a bunch of uh, root extracts, which I really like and are super moisturizing. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this one. Um, good within 12 months of opening. But um, from my first impression of it, when I tried it out, when I first got it, I really liked it. It's kind of a little richer, but still that lightweight See no cast. Honeysuckle flower extract. That possibly could cross react with fragrance. 
as could the gardenia fruit extract. It's not water resistant. So I'm here at Costco and it looks like the Italian volcano, which I highly recommend as a side note. I'm here to pick it up actually. Uh, it looks like the price of this has gone up. I feel as though it used to be $7. Now it's $9.99. How cute are these? The metal pink flamingo statue pair. That's not a bad price, $36 for the two pink flamingos. These are really cute. They also have these wind chimes. How do they sound? Mm -hmm. I'll stop it because I know some people find wind chimes annoying. Ooh, gazillion bubble whirlwind. That looks like fun. She had a passion for notebooks, paper, pens, the smell of ink. All the tools of writing. I've had my eye on this deck tile that I thought would be nice on my little back patio area. Like maybe I would use it more. Uh, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Am I really? That's going to get really hot. This is a black color. So that was going to absorb a lot of sun. Probably attract mosquitoes. You know, black mosquitoes love black. The color black. Yeah, they had some uh, insect repellent in there. DEET. In other news, that construction that I have been complaining about for two years is finally complete. Uh, the uh, way I used to go to Costco, I went there that way today, but I, I wasn't filming, uh, is now completely construction free. I don't know how the people who lived along that street dealt with, with that construction there in front of their houses because their back, their, their driveway is backed out straight into the road and with the road being completely closed off i i don't understand how they got in and out of their house i mean i'm sure there was some kind of way but do they just have to park on the street removed from their house i have so many questions and i don't know if it's because of the construction or just because it is what it is but if you'll recall i two years ago I shared with you guys this house on that road that is for sale and it's still for sale no one's purchased it and the house looks like Darth Vader and if you live in Houston you know exactly what I'm talking about the Darth Vader house I should double check actually editing me here uh fact checking myself it looks like January 27th 2023 they listed it for rent for 13,000 a month but then the listing was removed on March 29th, 2023. So not sure if they just gave up or if it actually sold or what happened. Um, it's not, it's not really, you know, tempting anyone. Maybe because of the way it looks or maybe it's just not in most people's budget. That seems, I mean, if you have the budget to spend, unless you're a huge Star Wars fan, I don't know. I, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, the layout of the house. I, I was looking at the, I was looking at the images on, on uh, Zwillow, I think it was, and it kind of looks sort of cool, you know. Originality these days is hard to come by. When it, yeah, who knows what's going to happen with the real estate market? It's not something I keep up with because a, I, you know, I like looking at houses. But I get very overwhelmed by the financing of home buying and I just, you know, kind of shut down. And B, I, I just don't, I find it, you know, whenever they talk about the market, I have no idea really what they're talking about, you know? Like, it's one of those things where it'll come up in conversation, like a, you know, like a party and kind of not, it's like one of those safe topics to talk about. I mean, I, I guess that's why I'm bringing it up here. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Uh, but you really, like, uh, like I have nothing to contribute other than, you know, a nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for all I know, it could be the complete opposite, but I think it's, it's challenging everywhere. All right, but while the, while the price of homes may be cost prohibitive, while new construction may be a gamble, home goods does not disappoint. That is where we are. Home goods. I always like to come in here and browse about. 
I mean, you never know what you're gonna, which, what you're gonna come across in Home Goods. Side note: Here are my vegan Birkenstocks. I think I mentioned to you guys in a recent video how much I love them. They're super comfortable. I've had them for like two years now. I mean, they need a little, a little facial, but otherwise they're in good condition. Sweet. Home Goods has mini carts. Is anyone like me? I detest these massive shopping carts. These aren't that bad, but like Walmart, it's like pushing around an RV and the Walmart shopping carts always have sticky wheels. And of course I have to stop by and check out the candles that they have here. You can often find really good scented candles at Home Goods. My favorite is, what's the brand? Um, gosh, I'm blanking on it. DW Home. They often have really good, good candles. Here's one, Spring Dream. And they've really come a long way in the past few years with their packaging designs. They're really cute, some of them. Like this one, Matcha Berry Smoothie. It looks like a little, isn't that cute? Tropical Lua. Hmm, that's nice, but I think it would get headachey. I don't like really um, floral scents. They tend to give me a headache. Village Candle. Summer breeze makes me feel happy. <laughs> That's nice, but it would it would get overwhelming. It's not. I mean, it, it's not actually like a summer breeze. <laughs> it's one of those that they could say is like ocean scent. You know, they'll they'll put oceanscape on there. It's that kind of scent. This is cute. Sand and Paws, inspired at Dog Beach on the California coast. And look at the lid. <laughs> Little doggies. Hmm, that kind of has a... Oh, it neutralizes pet odor. Sage and sea salt, that's nice. Butterfly. Butterfly doesn't smell like much. I mean, has anyone smelled a butterfly? I Butterfly in the sky. Like here's another one, ladybug. Come on, ladybug. It's not like nothing. Violet raspberry jasmine woods. I'm getting none. Of, maybe a hint of raspberry, a la sun ripened raspberry, Bath and Body Works, circa 1994. <laughs> Yikes! I hated that scent. I never cared for that scent. Oh my gosh, they're trying to copy me, you guys. You know I'm always calling Amazon the Amazonian, Amazonite. <laughs> this is a little too woo-woo for me with the crystals and all that. I don't know, I'm not so into that. I have one of these, and I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't recommend. I don't have this particular one, but I have one from Michaels. They, in principle, they seem like the kind of thing that's just going to be so useful for storage. And sure, they can be, but I just find mine annoying. Like, it gets on my nerves, pushing it around, and it's kind of hard to get into these middle shelves. I don't know. I contemplate donating mine all the time, but it's it's like, like I can't shake it. Oh, aren't these pretty to put, like, votives and stuff in? Made in Germany. That little sticker right there makes it seem, like, way more expensive. That Made in Germany sticker. Got flamingo stuff here too. Look how cute this little pitcher is. And the bowl. You could have a whole flamingo themed pecanique. And these little plastic glasses. These are fun for drinks. There goes Marilla. Love this thing. I don't have to vacuum. He does it for me. I'm telling you, it just gets entertaining after a while. It's supposed to save you time, but then you spend time staring at it. Well, hello, hello. I have been back from my little adventure for some time. I just filmed a video for you guys, but <clears throat> dang, you can tell it's pollen season because I turn into some kind of a frog. I wanted to update you all on the Thank You Farmer SPF 50 Sun Project Skin Relief Sun Cream. I wore this all day. And I enjoyed it. It was not, I didn't get any burning, redness, irritation. It didn't pill or ball up for me. It was comfortable. I like it. You know, I said I had a first impression a few days ago when I first got this. 
And so this was my second time wearing it. I didn't get any burny eyes. Um, it didn't, I didn't think it looked too shiny, but you guys can be the judge of if you thought it was too shiny for me. Uh, what else can I tell you? I didn't realize this is a vegan formula too. I think I like the Skin 1004 one better. I feel like the Skin 1004 is just a little bit more lightweight in consistency. Um, and if you are someone who finds that sunscreens look greasy or shiny, I think you'd find that to be more so the case with this than the Hyalo Seco one. But this is this is pretty good. Like I'm gonna finish this off no problem. I, it, it's not you know anything that is gonna give me issue. It does have niacinamide. I don't know if I mentioned that this morning. And I know some of you guys find that niacinamide wounds and stings. So I got myself a new pair of bionic slippers. I love these so much. They're super comfortable. Let me take them off and show you. Um, I get the Gemma Mule. Uh, they the reason I like these is they're so supportive of your arch and your heel and everything they're really comfortable it's like wearing shoes inside so a few days ago i watched that movie mystic pizza it's an old movie like from the 80s but it's actually really good i had never seen it before but i love julia roberts and i am yeah i don't know what it is like julia roberts movies somehow I, i'll give her a pass the movie can be kind of mediocre although mystic P pizza was really good but the movie overall can be mediocre but if julia roberts in it it's like eh. It gets, I, I, up, I upgraded a star. Yeah, Julia Roberts is seriously one of my favorite actresses. I really enjoy many of her movies. Uh, have you guys ever seen Fatal Attraction? Ugh, that's a scary one for sure. Uh, and what, what are some other ones? She's in some silly movies that are good. She's really, you know, she, she does a lot of different roles well. Uh, she's in that one with Brad Pitt where they go around to casinos. I'm blanking on what it's called. That was a pretty entertaining movie. And then she was also in Stepmom. Have you guys ever seen Stepmom with oh, another actress that I really love? I mean, she, she elevates movies in my opinion is Susan Sarandon. I really like Susan Sarandon a lot. Um, she, yeah, she was in Stepmom. It's a really sad movie. If you haven't seen it. Speaking of a movie that may be considered mediocre by today's standards, I'm not sure, but I remember watching it multiple times and just like really enjoying it. America's Sweethearts. Julia Roberts is like really kind of funny and endearing in that movie. <laughs> I really like that one. So yeah, I I watched that the other, I watched uh, Mystic Pizza the other day and I was thinking to myself, what has become of a lot of these actors and actresses from the 80s and 90s, like, I feel like certain actresses just kind of fade into the background and actors after some time. Did I mention Steel Magnolias? I've probably seen that movie a thousand times easily. That's one that I could watch on, on repeat, no problemo. I was telling you guys the other day how, my hair's stuck there. Um, I feel like I'm starting to actually notice a difference in the skin on the back of my hands um since i've been doing this tretinoin you know i put the tretinoin pearl size amount on the back of my hand get it onto my face the nice thing about the cream too is like you can really feel the thin film like where it is and stuff anyway i get that nice thin film on there and then the residue i just rub the backs of my hands together and I feel like I'm starting to notice a difference in the back of my hand. You know, they sell red light devices for your hands, allegedly boost collagen production, but I'm telling you, try using, if you're, if you're using ret, any kind of retinoid, adapalene, tretinoin, um, or even, you know, retinol, retinol hide, whatever your topical vitamin A is, make sure you're putting it on the back of your hands because this skin is really thin. And when you get up there in years, which you're going to, it's more prone to tearing, bruising, breakdown. Yeah. That and the sun protection. You need, you need both, both going. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and you're having a great weekend. On the end slide, I'm going to put yesterday's vlog in case you missed it. That way you're all caught up on my weekend doings but if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye